All right. Well, good morning, Crooked River. Good morning, everyone. We are, Man, this week, so fast. These short weeks really go by quick. Yeah. And this is a weird week because it's kind of a short week, but not really. Yeah. You do have school on Friday. It's just from home. Let me make sure I was clear on that. Okay. Learning from home on Friday. So you will stay home. Teachers are sending work for you to do from home on Friday. I'm sure your teachers will explain this a little bit more, but you don't actually physically come to school on Friday. It's a comprehensive distance learning day. Also, we're not sending computers home. Lots of information. Your teachers will make sure you totally understand what this is about, okay? All right. All right. So that's why we're doing announcements on Thursday morning. Thursday, yep, yep, yep. okay. Do you have some jokes? I've got a couple jokes. So I'm All starting right. to get some jokes from the students, Yeah, Mrs. that's Bonner. fun, that's so, so fun. This one is actually from Tavari. She gave me about four or five, but I'm gonna read one so I can be equitable and share with other students. Sounds so, good. what kind of bird works at a construction site? What kind of bird works at a construction site? Don't think too hard. I mean, I think maybe a woodpecker? That's a pretty good choice. I would have probably thought about that. A crane. Get it, a crane? Oh, yeah. That's good. Tavari. Yeah. Crane. That was yep. good. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. My next one is from Vanger. And he's okay. pretty proud of this one. All he was right, actually Vanger. singing this one to me yesterday when he was singing? getting on the bus. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Yep. Actually, I think I was singing back to him what it was. So, why do you not give Elsa your balloon? So, Elsa from Uh-huh. I know this one. I bet you because... Don't let it go. Oh, she let it go. got it. See? How could you not <laughs> sing with that one? I was doing the right. same thing. I love it. Yes. Yeah, good job. You Thank guys, you guys. Those were fun. Yep, keep them coming. So fun. <clears throat> okay. Next week is March. Can you believe it? Already. It's already March. Wow. So this, uh, I'm going to call it a holiday. Kind of snuck up on us. March 2nd is next Tuesday. Next Tuesday, do you know whose birthday next Tuesday is? I think I know. Big hat, makes me think of this person. Oh, do you have one? Oh, fantastic, I found mine too. Oh, Does yeah, this give yeah. you guys a hint? Oh my gosh, I should have had mine on whose too. Whose birthday it is? Let's count on the count three, let's say it together. One, two, three. Dr. Dr. Seuss. Seuss. Which means we're going to celebrate Read Across America on mm -hmm. next Tuesday. We're going to do some fun stuff. One of the things we're going to do are what we call flash mob reads. Oh, I love those. Which means you're going to have to have a book with you at all times. Don't take them outside. I promise it won't no. be during outside. Yeah. But Mr. Stefanik and I are going to get over the announcements and say, flash mob! Or something like that. Something like that, yeah. And you have to stop what you're doing and read for 10 minutes. We're going to do this twice during the day and you're not going to know when. So fun. We're also encouraging you just next Tuesday to dress up like your favorite book character or something Dr. Susie, yep. like Mr. Cool. Stefan's hat, hat, whatever. Wear stripes or polka dots or bright colors or anything that's um, anything to do with books in any way. Um, yeah, and so and then your teachers will yeah. be doing fun stuff in your classrooms as well. Probably one of my f most favorite days of school, Dr. Seuss's birthday. It's it was a lot of fun. fun. Yeah. yeah, just because we're focused on reading and <clears throat> literature, and that's so fun and so important. Yep. Very good. Okay. We have a new virtue for the month of March. Do you remember what it is? Yeah, it starts I do. With an e. It does. M. Yeah. What is it? You're trying to get me to say it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Empathy. 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 Yes. Huh. That's kind of a tricky one, Mrs. Bonner. It is. And so I actually printed out the definition of what Character Strong defines empathy as. The ability to understand and connect to the feelings of another. So really trying to be compassionate and understanding how other people are feeling. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if Mr. Stefanik's having a really bad day, because maybe he got a flat tire on the way to work, which he only lives like. That'd be like a, a flat tire on my shoe. Yeah. Instead of saying like, well, 
whatever, you'll be fine. Yeah. I could say, gosh, I bet that was really a bummer for you. Really trying to help people when they're not feeling very good about their situation. Yeah. You know what she used, you guys? We just learned this the other day from Dr. Johnson. You're our superintendent. Our superintendent. Mm -hmm. Empathy statements. And it really mm -hmm. means a lot if you can share or express an empathy statement to somebody that might be going through something tough mm -hmm. or having a hard time. Yeah. Just a simple phrase like that kind of lets the other person know that you do care about them. Right. And you understand empathy. Right. You're showing empathy for what they're going through. Yeah. So really, I think it means understanding someone else's feelings. Yep. Is that a good definition? I like it. Understanding okay. someone else's feelings. Okay, good. Yeah. All right, perfect. Okay, uh, we're going to be kind of quick today. Um, so we're going to jump straight to our Mustang memos. We're oh. not going to do a Mustang moolah bucket because yeah. it's a short, sort of short week in that you're learning from home on Friday. But also the buckets that we have left are really big prizes mm -hmm. and they were very expensive prizes, uh, which is awesome. But we just want to get a few more people that are eligible for those. Absolutely. So make sure you're turning in your Mustang memos. We will do a drawing next Friday. Yep. So Love it. All right. Let's do Mustang okay. memos. How about five today? Let's do five. Okay. Here I we go. Love it. This is really filling up, which is great news. That is great news. I'd love to see it. Oh, I guess that you just hand to me. I don't know why I'm doing this. If you want to, <laughs> you want to reach up there and grab them. All right, from Mrs. Bryant's class for being responsible, Carson Britt. Good Come job, on down, Carson. Carson. From Mrs. Bunting's class for being responsible, Summer Fulton. Good job, Summer. From Mrs. Foot for being respectful, Cooper Taylor. Cooper Taylor. Coopster. From Mrs. Graydon for being responsible, Riley Tugman. I love that we don't any teacher repeats yet. Uh, this one is from Mrs. Hayes' class for safe and responsible, Cassidy. Good job, Cassidy. Come on down, Cass. Is that five? I think that's five, that isn't it? That was five. All right. Yeah. All right. It is Friday. No, it's not. It's Thursday. Mm hmm <laughs> So you shouldn't be wearing a hat, so you don't need to take it off. Oh, you do. I need to take my you hat off, to too. And I just remembered that uh -huh. next announcements uh -huh. will be looking for... The national anthem oh okay so i know i think we got some people in the works but if you want to sing the national anthem come and let us, come know. And let us know we can arrange that because we're going to do it on the first uh friday of each month that's okay. kind of what we talked good. about didn't we perfect I'm sure we first. did okay sounds good to me all right all my right. hair's looking good yeah, okay it's looking great shall we do the pledge of allegiance let's do it oh we should probably do this way huh so miss victoria can show the flag there we go do you want to look at me? I'm going to turn around and salute the flag. There we go. <laughs> right hand over our hearts. Ready? Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Awesome. Have a really good day. Um, work hard tomorrow. It is a school day. It's not an opt-out day. Nope. Even though you're working from home, you need to be getting your work done that your teacher sent home. All right. Take care. See ya. See you soon.